Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into some news that's been stirring up quite the buzz in the gaming world Capcom's controversial decision to update the Resident Evil mobile ports with a DRM requirement. If you're a fan of Resident Evil or mobile gaming, you'll want to stick around for this one. So what exactly happened? Capcom recently rolled out an update for Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 7, and Resident Evil Village on Apple devices. This update introduced something that's got a lot of people talking and not in a good way. They've added an online DRM check in at startup. What this means is that you now need an active internet connection just to boot up these games. Yup, even if you're planning to play offline, you've still got to be online just to start the game. As you can imagine, this hasn't gone over well with the community. Fans are frustrated, especially those who play on iPads or iPhones without a constant internet connection. I mean, imagine being on a plane ready to dive into some horror action, only to find out you can't play because there's no Wi-Fi. People are calling this move restrictive and unnecessary, and some are even demanding refunds. Now, let's talk about why Capcom might have done this. The leading theory is that it's a way to combat piracy. But here's the kicker, these mobile ports were already struggling with poor sales. Resident Evil 7, for instance, sold less than 2,000 copies after it launched on Apple devices. So will this DRM check in actually help Capcom's bottom line, or is it just going to push more players away? The big question now is, will Capcom reverse this decision? As of now, they haven't made any official comment on the backlash. But given the outcry, it wouldn't be surprising if they re-evaluate this move. If they don't, it could set a worrying precedent for other mobile game ports. So what do you think? Is this DRM update a necessary evil to protect against piracy? Or is it just another example of companies putting profit over player experience? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future updates. Until next time, keep gaming and stay awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.